Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our Alpha New Bro experience. So, today is a Proving Grounds Day, and uh, basically that means um, you need a, uh, a thing, kind of like one of these. Um, <coughs> filament to uh, go in. Um, usually they'll have some uh, particular types of ships. Um, for any given day. So let's see, does it say destroyers? T1 destroyer, 1v1. Um, so, um, basically, uh, you go in one-on-one -on -one PvP and you die. Um, and I don't, I can't really afford to lose a ship just yet, so I'm not gonna try and do this. But, it is on our, uh, on our list of things to do in the long run. Um. That might be a way to knock off some of our soldier of fortune uh, activities. Uh, certainly losing ships. Uh, and who knows, maybe we'll even get a kill. Um, so my plan um, right now, right, I would be going in um, in a thrasher, obviously. Um, but that's not ideal. Um, I haven't had good luck with that in the past. Um, I think what I would what I would prefer to go on uh, is a Talwar, um, just because they have. Um, <coughs> since you're running light missiles, you have such a massive uh, range advantage. Um, and in my experience. That's made all the difference. When I've gone in, uh, I have gone in to Destroyer Proving Grounds before in the Thrasher, um, whether auto cannons or artillery didn't really matter because uh, Talwar with a micro warp could just stay out of my range. I could never catch them and they just grind me down. So. Yeah, anyway, next time I go in, that's what I'll be flying. Um, but I don't have one yet, and can't really afford one at the moment. Certainly can't afford to lose it, so that's uh, future plans. Um, but what it does mean is it's not a skilling spree day. So, um, and also... Right, our expert system ran out uh, yesterday, right before we logged on. <coughs> so, uh, so I'm gonna do something, maybe non-combat today. Right, so click on here, and we go to. Industrialist. We'll see. Distribution. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to get in our hauler. We're going to do some distribution missions. And uh, so I think my goal here is just going to be to get um, the highest level missions I can. And just uh, keep going. We'll see where we end up. <coughs> All right, so let's check our fit here. Um, do, do, do. I forgot I had that skin on it. That's nice. All right, so we've only got. 6600 so let's see I'm going 
got the one medium cargo hold expander. How much are these? It's not too bad. Um, now the other thing, so let's see. The other thing we could try to go for is a little bit of speed, right? So, um, do, what are we looking at? Right. Hardware. <laughs> right, so cargo hold velocity uh, optimization obviously gives us some more cargo space. Um, so one more of these would give us roughly a thousand more uh, M3 of cargo. Um, but, let's see, um, another option is Hyperspatial Velocity Optimizer, which as you can see uh, in the green over on the right side here, um, will increase our warp speed. So instead of 4.5, we'd be at 5.4. So that could um, that could increase our, uh, our we could, that could decrease our travel time by quite a bit. Um, so there's also low friction nozzle joints um, which will decrease our align time. So you can see on the, the left over here, right, we've got inertia modifier um, and yeah align time time to enter warp from full stop right so that would improve both of those so <clears throat> 6.5 or 0.65 and 9.0 down to Point five seven and basically eight. Um, so that could also be an improvement. Let's see what else. So this would also improve both of those, although not as much. <coughs> um shielding, cargo hull, so the thrusters would increase our maximum speed. Alright, so um, the T2 versions of these, of course, way out of our price range. Alright, so again, 394 for that. It's not too bad. Although, I mean, still 8 seconds, like that improves our time a little bit, but um, hyperspatial velocity optimizer, yeah, might improve things a bit. Um, but there's an old saying, which is uh, never underestimate the bandwidth of a station wagon full of hard drives di driving down the freeway. Um, so I think, ultimately, since this is a hauler and our point of flying it is to move goods, and cargo hold optimization is the way to go. So again, let's double check our price here. Yeah, <laughs> that's like all the money we have. Um, but let's see, let's see what we can get this up to. 
uh, in terms of cargo capacity. So that's that's got us up to eight point eight. Um, those slots and I think it's hull and armor. Expanded cargo holds. Ooh, we should limit this by skill. Cool. We can do T2. Not too expensive. Very good. Alright, so we can get up to 15 and a half. That's not too bad. Um, and yeah, so we're looking at a little under 400,000 each for those, about 300,000 each for these. So, yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, Now the other thing we might want to do with this is get some passive tank on it. Um, so <coughs> for that we're gonna go to our mid slots and we're going shield. Now this is a medium ship, so remember we can usually go up one size. Um, that way, sorry, these are boosters. I want extenders. All right. So it's our fit looking like. like azeotropic is what we want. And then, so um, this is where I depart from my usual fitting philosophy. And that's gonna, I'm gonna go with amplifiers instead of hardeners. The reason being shield hardeners have to be activated. Um, and in a hauler, um, we need to defend against situations where we're taken by surprise. So um, I don't want to be in the situation where um, where I have to take time to activate my defense, and I'm, you know, getting my butt kicked in the meantime. So shield amplifiers. Don't give us as much of a boost, but uh, they are always on. So, um, okay, so we've got basic one and compact. So, looks like compact is what we're going for. That's only about 30,000, so. And explosive. I'm just going to get one of each here. So that gets us up to about 10,000 EHP. <coughs> right. Decent resist profile. Um, and we can haul whole bunch of stuff so that's basically what we want um, now you do have two slots up here to play with um, and I don't have strong opinions about what to put up here um, a couple of options right some harvesting equipment salvager um, 
maybe a uh, uh, maybe a tractor beam. You know, um, if you're going to use this as like um, as a salvage ship, you know, so like um, I could go out of my stabber, do a mission kill all the things and then before I turn the mission in or um, you know I can bookmark the location come back in my hauler and uh, and collect all the all the loot um, some people do it that way I used to do it that way um, I actually had a actually had a thrasher that was uh, fitted for salvage so four tractor beams and four salvage uh, lasers, if I recall correctly. Um, so, uh, let's see. Systems, do, do, do. I don't think... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I don't have the skills, but... So if I turn this off, um, we could go with uh, cloaking device. Um, right. Um, so one way to deal with, um, the slow align time is you jump through the gate and then you cloak, um, like you have to start moving and then cloak immediately, right? You start moving to break your, um, the automatic cloak that you have when you come through the gate. Uh, then you turn on your cloak, um, and usually, you know, that'll be fast enough that hopefully nobody's going to be able to target you in the meantime, and you, uh, take that time to align, get up to speed, um, and then when you warp, the cloak deactivates, um, unless you have, uh, I forget the, um, the cool one. Um, <clears throat> or, uh, but I think maybe you need, maybe you need cer only certain ships can fit that. I forget. Um, but that would, that's what you would do on a blockade runner. You have, you have the cool cloak that allows you to stay cloaked while you warp. Um, <coughs> Now, the problem with this strategy is that a cloaking device also uh, slows you down. Now, it's reducing your top speed. Uh, let's see. Which means maximum velocity modifier is minus 90%, so our normal is... 93, so our top speed would be like 8. Um, but the cool thing is that means you don't have to be going as fast in order to go into warp, because remember it's 75% of your top speed is how fast you need to be going in order to enter warp. So one way to reduce that, um, the time it takes to enter warp, is to actually lower your top speed so it doesn't take you as long to get there. Um, so, but typically what people will do is they'll pair this with a micro warp. So the micro warp makes up for uh, the maximum velocity modifier. Um, and if you, um, if you just pulse it like I normally do, right, you get that, you get that acceleration bump for the first cycle. Um, and then as soon as the micro warp cuts off, your maximum speed goes back down to your normal speed, which usually if you've been accelerating with micro warp through that whole cycle, you'll already be going at your maximum normal velocity. So you enter warp instantaneously after the 10 second micro warp cycle. <laughs> um, our current align time, of course, is nine seconds. So 
that doesn't buy us any time, but if you're in a much bigger ship, um, like for example an Orca, that can significantly improve um, the amount of time it takes for you to get into warp. Um, anyway, other options are some defensive stuff. Uh, so, energy neutralizers, Nosferatu, 2, that sort of thing. Um, uh, jammers, let's see. Is it in here? Yeah, so like interdiction nullifier uh, might be something that you'd put on there. Um, where's the... It's not here. What am, I, what am I looking for? Uh, uh, do, do, right, interdiction. Uh, so I guess smart bomb could be a, could be an option. Um, we don't have drones, so that's none of use. I was thinking there's like target jammers, maybe. Uh, or something that go in the high slot, but those might be medium slot. Anyway, enough messing around. Uh, we've got our fit, so let's go ahead and fit this ship. <coughs> so, By this. By this. Up here. go ahead and pay the extra this time just so we don't have to make an extra stop. All right, fit that, and here we go. So it's still insured, and yeah, okay. Now we just need our uh, our guy. So doing distribution, any level, any distance, any security, any faction. Let's do this. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Um, so, do we want to try and go for level 3, but 5 jumps away, or level 2 in low sec? Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take that risk. OK. 
hey, we've got some gankers in system. They're hiding out over Hope at drive. I Choose You, Active. which was where we decided to not buy parts. Feeling good about the t that decision right now. Guess we might as well use that up. And do you have anything else here that's good? Inertia modifier. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Give us a little bit of speed. At least while it lasts. Alright, so Warp drive active. Since we're Going into low sec, we're going to want to keep an eye on the local channel. Just kind of look for, see if there's anybody uh, that's marked red here. Um, some corporations will mark uh, will mark people, you know, from uh, or in certain corporations or certain uh, <coughs> certain alliances, even uh, as friendly or unfriendly. Docking permission requested. I can't remember if I've done that in my corporation or not. I have done that personally on a couple of uh, characters. I feel like last time I went to uh, docking request accepted to mark a, a group can figure out how to do it for the corporation so uh, and I was on the CEO at the time so there was any character that I should have been able to do that on it was him um, all right so looks like we got three of them here so let's see. Uh, that's only 280, so uh, we can accept that and only 120. We can go ahead and accept that and. Accept all that too. All right, so yeah, we got plenty of room for all these. Um, okay, looks like we got two going to the same station, so that's cool. Set that first, and then this one. Okay.
Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. agent here too, so let's just daisy chain these. Drive active. So if I remember correctly, there are some, I think under Explorer maybe, for uh, traveling through a certain number of low sex systems, or <coughs> maybe it's low sex systems in different regions. So maybe we'll be able to knock some of those out too while we're at it. drive active. Now one thing in terms of um, how I'd go about picking missions um, is that it might be actually worthwhile to do distribution missions first. Um, because as you can see, um, I mean even taking three at once, we were, what, I think still under a thousand M cubed, or maybe barely above, but, um, I mean, that's an amount of stuff that you could carry in a totally unfitted wreath, right, which you get two of them for free if you do all the career missions, so it can be an easy way to build up a little a uh, little bit of ISK and uh, earn yourself some loyalty points and some standing. Um, so it's uh, it's not a bad way to start off. Um, and actually, if you're doing level ones, um, <clears throat> you know, so if this is the first thing you do. You might even be able to do most of them in, in Docking a frigate. Permission requested. Docking Certainly request if you put accepted. cargo expanders on it, you could probably do most of these in a frigate. Um, you might want to go for something like a probe, which I think has a little bit more cargo space, if I'm remembering correctly. But... Uh, Alright, one more 
distribution guy here. Alright, that doesn't even take up any space. Oh, now we're picking it up. Ha! All right. Well. Okay. Remove that. Add waypoint. Add waypoint. All right. So yeah, as long as you've got cargo space, you can just kind of daisy chain these. Um, you know, so you're working on two, three, even four of them at once. And it can even be kind of pleasant, <coughs> um, you know, especially if you, uh, once you get up into a blockade runner, um, those are actually surprisingly fast ships. Uh, on a ship like that, like, you can really knock these out pretty quickly. Did I, like, not hit the button or something? What's going on here? Oh my god. They're right next to each other. Oh Jesus, this is miserable. Okay. Um, let's, uh... Let's see, do we have anything closer? Yes. Right. We're gonna warp... Not that close, just in case somebody's waiting there to gank miners. Warp drive active. Ain't nobody got time to slow boat 100 kilometers. All right. No gankers, but we do have rats. Warp drive active. Hopefully they can't hit us from there. That's what we got. Cruisers. Yeah. Docking permission requested. So yeah, that's one of those cases where maybe I would have done it if I had a micro warp uh, installed on this, but Docking I went for tank request instead. accepted. I don't feel like that was a bad decision. I think uh, warping off and coming back probably took about the same amount of time. Maybe even less. Alright, what do we got here? Story. Okay. Drive active. We're doing this, squad. 
Alright, so we're still down. What, about three mil? Drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright. No distribution agents here, so... Well, that's a lot of level 4 agents, though. Crazy. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So that's five of those knocked out. So let's take a look real quick at our money situation. All right, so with time bonus awards, we're looking at... Hmm. So that's about 100. That's 100. That's 67, 97, 95. Um, yeah, so remember these are all level 1 and 2. Um, and we'll make a little bit more um, with higher level agents, but those are a ways away. Um, yeah, OK. 
Okay. Well, so I think for now, we'll head back to Heck. Is this a multi-parter? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. So... This one might end with a combat mission, if I'm remembering correctly. Which... I'm not sure if I want to deal with. See how I'm feeling. drive active <clears throat> um, so anyway as I was saying uh, one of the reasons I might choose to do uh, distribution missions um, as first thing sort of out of the box from career agents is uh, you know just that it takes basically no skills um, you know, you could have a empty fit wreath and just barely enough skills to fly it, and you could still Docking permission um, requested. get these missions done and, uh, you know, and earn some esk. Certainly, level one and level two um, you pretty reliably knock those out. Uh, you know, even uh, even in your Corvette probably doable um docking request accepted where uh where it's too much stuff to transport but usually those are in uh in parts so you might have like you know five or ten items that together take up i don't know 500 m cubed but you could make multiple trips and still be able to get it done All right, but for now, we really are going to head back to to Heck because we don't know what's going on tomorrow. It's another skilling spree day. Then I'll want to head out and do some sites again, combat sites. Warp drive active. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of thing that you know if you don't. If you don't have the skills to fly the ship you want, um, and don't want to rely on an expert system to get it done, you know, you can do some distribution missions while you're waiting for those skills to train up, and uh, be earning some isk and, you know, maybe getting, getting to know the neighborhood a little bit. Um, so, not a bad option. And as you can see, I mean, even even with what I consider a decent fit, you know, <coughs> for a slow boat hauler, um, that's still pretty cheap, you know, whether you're talking Hard a wreath or a mammoth, active. um, you know, 15 M cubed for, what, like, 3 mil? How much was it? Estimate 3.9 mil. So under 4 mil for 
a ship that can haul what three uh, three packaged frigates? Not too bad. Warp drive active. And considering I'm able to fit all of these parts right now, um, it's going to be a real easy ship to get into. Um, there's other things you can do with hauling, um, like you could take hauling contracts and stuff. Uh, we might try doing that, some of that, after we've, um, after we've completed our distribution missions, you know, just to, just to show you guys how those work. Um. Yeah, that might be a plan. Warp drive active. But for now, I think it's home sweet home. We're coming up on an hour. So, even though my most watched videos so far seem to be my longest ones. Um, I still feel weird about going over an hour. So, try to keep it, <laughs> try to keep it under. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So yeah, distribution missions. Mostly easy and fast. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going on tomorrow. If it's if the daily activity isn't skilling spree, then probably do some more uh, distribution missions tomorrow. Um, and uh, maybe instead of going for the close ones, <coughs> we'll go the distance and grab some level threes. Maybe make a little more money. All right, so um, with that, until next time, have a good one.